Well, everyone, as you can see behind me, we're at Thought Park Resort here today. Get a behind the scenes look into the maze Platform 15. Of course, it's its last year this year, Platform 15, the end of the line. I'm so looking forward to getting a behind the scenes look and also having two run throughs today one in the day and one in the evening. With my awesome face paint theme to the maze, what a great way to send off this beautiful attraction that's been at the park for six years. Let's go into the behind the scenes tour of Platform 15, the end of the line. So there's a few like contributing factors that sort of um, goes to it. So normally a maze has a lifespan of about six to seven years. This is a platform six year. Um, so we're always looking at what people want. So um, this isn't the most popular maze, um, and sort of it's sort of reached its peak, I think. Um, so I think it's sort of like new like time for something else. Um, but yeah, I think that's sort of why they sort of gradually fade out. But mazes only really have a lifespan of about six, seven years. Um, so this is obviously the batching area for um, Platform 15 this year and last year in 2020. Um, so originally in 2019, this whole um, structure here was built as the ending. So you'd come into this room here, you'd be met by one of the uh, lost people on the previous tour. Um, they're coming out and ironically start coughing everywhere. Um, that would be so good in today's times. Um, and then the uh, conductor would appear, you'd run out straight around that way. But um, in 2020, it was put this end and it works sort of a batching area now. Um, in terms of the uh, storyline now, so for this year, it's all based off of a little boy, um, about 10 years old, it's his 10th birthday, called Timothy Ricketts. Um, the reference in Ricketts, um, I don't know if you know or not, but Steph Ricketts, she gets quite involved with a lot of the Fright Nights. That's where that little reference comes from. Um, so it's basically his 10th birthday um, and he's received tickets to go on the Sleeper Express. Um, his like, parents have been saving up for quite a while for it. Um, and they go on the trip to London on the Sleeper Express, but um, something happens and the train derails. Um, and then oil explodes everywhere and tar goes everywhere and unfortunately um, they die. Um, and then when going down, all the rest of the passengers get turned into what we call sleepers. Um, and then when you go into the town of Screechry, um, they have like loads of characters warning you about the train and warning you about Timothy. Um, but he never came back home to open his birthday presents, but we'll show you that when we come back down. Right, we'll follow down. As well, when you come out, look up and you never realise how close Saw is to when you come out of here. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah. That's the closest you ever get to it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the closest you get to the sword. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it used to yeah, be about here because you go round the bend. Um, you never used to see the no. sword truck. No, not at all. Um so it used to have like a so these animatronics up here on the right hand side, um, they're not on at the moment, but basically the swings actually swing and the seesaw actually seesaws. Um, they're brand new for this year um, and they look hella creepy when it's dark. Um, I didn't even know they were here, so I took like a walk down, they were on and I was like, okay. Um, but yeah, the reference on the top of the swing, so 15 references platform 15. Um, but yeah, they're the new animatronics for this year. So we'll head down. You're more than welcome to go either through the um, little corridor just there or through the Aptron. Same's up to you. I'm gonna go this one. So with this maze, um, unlike a lot of the other mazes, has uh, very few uh, actor runs. Um, so because of the design of this, it's all outdoors, um, there's no real need for actor runs. Only little ones like that one to save the actors crawling down every time. Um, that basically means the actors need to stay in character basically the whole time, just in case they run into a group. So it wouldn't be really convincing if you suddenly see a zombie or something come down and go, oh, hang on, I need to drop the Luke's aid and like act. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one, the actors always have to stay in character just in case they do bump into a group. Um, but I so said there are a few actor corridors, I think, there's two, uh, one here and one in the finale, um, where the actors can take a breather um, and take a drink of water if they want. 
So the reference to Sweet Fry Village here is because the original um, designer of Platform 15 was quite a fan of whiskey, so Scooch and I put together, Scooch Fry. Yes, they're all just, all just all over. <laughs> This is just like a little um, hideout. It's where the fire extinguishers can't be. It's a little hideout for the actors to jump out of. Yeah. Um, again, you've got a load of. This one has a lot of like little hideouts for the actors to hide in, but not actually like go through. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so with this one, they're not actually allowed to go. Well, they're all meant to go up and round um, the side of this, just because of the rocks and like health and safety. Um, but they like so hide in there. Yeah. 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 So we're heading to the house just here. Yeah. Um, so when you come through, these are Timothy's presents just here. You've got happy birthday cake and all the um, all the labels all say Timothy on, but these were the presents that he never got to open. Simple, so um, yes, it's literally right. I don't want to get too close. So there's only one oh, yes. smell platform 15. That's a Victorian train smell. Sure. Oh, I'm guessing that's the scent. Yes. So I was just saying, there's only one smell platform 15. That's a Victorian train smell. Um, the others have a few different smells in, but this one only has one constant smell. And um, the smell pod, when you come round, is itch on the back side of this present just here. More than welcome to go closer and have a smell, but I, I, here is far enough for me. Um, also around the maze you have uh, e-stops, so just like this one and like the one I showed you in containment. Um, they're normally located in the same room the actor will be in, so an actor will normally be in this room just here. So they can easily reach it in the case of an emergency. Um, but they literally just, I don't want to press it because this one is live, um, they literally just hit that e-stop and then the attraction goes um, out of show mode so all the house lights come on. So I'll show you when we go down there but you basically have two types of lights, you have the house lights and you have the yeah. show lights um, and then you basically switch between which one you'd like. The so show, when we The show lights go fully bright as well or is it just house lights? No, it's just the house lights go fully bright. So when we're walking down the tunnel we had those like bright white lights, they're all the um, house lights. Um, so they're like located around and then the show lights are like the little flickering lights and all the like, special lights um, that make the experience. Cool, all right, we'll keep on going now. And the house is in the sound effects that change on the sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, how they follow you in those days. Basically, yeah. Um, when coming out, if anyone wants a photo stood in the little porch area looking back at the house, you're more than welcome to. Um, obviously the house was built um, and it also gives the actors a place if they want to take a drink of water or anything, just out of like the guest view before uh, they come round. Um, and it's a bit of a story for a smoke balloon as well. Um, <laughs> the, um, all the smoke machines are pretty well hidden in platform 15, obviously because it's quite outdoors, you need to sort of yeah. hide it in the daytime. So the main smoke machine here is literally in that wooden box just there. So a few rocks disguising it as well. So this sign here references the original tour, so obviously when you used to go this way, you used to go into the tunnel. Um, so it kept in 2020 as sort of like a memorial for what platform used to be. Um, but yeah, that's sort of the original sign of the tunnel is that way, but no longer. <laughs>
Um, so this, uh, these all fat pods were added in 2020 as well. So one of the feedback we got from uh, previous uh, Platform 15 like evolutions was the storyline wasn't that clear. So people were just going through it and being scared, but they didn't really know what they were scared of. Um, so in 2020, these fat boards were added throughout the tour just to make it a bit clearer. The Lost Souls in here, um, like people always wonder what Lost Souls. Um, it's actually, there's like some floating dead bodies that are really hard to see um, in the night time in the river. And the story of how they got out there, basically Steph, again, the person that sort of designs the mazes, bless her, she got out on like a little paddle rowing boat and like paddled out and sort of like launched them over the side. And it was, it was quite funny to see. But yeah, that's how they, that's how they got into the river. So this green and white canopy up here is part of the old storage shed for the Kanda Creek Railway. Obviously opening in 1989 and then closing unfortunately in 2011. Um, it still holds two trains, however they have been unfortunately graffitied on um, and vandalised. But yeah, they're all in there. Unfortunately we can't go in there, it's all shuttered off and padlocked off. Um, and then you've got the third train um, which is just out here, called the Sleeper Express. Um, and it was painted all black in 2020 um, to sort of fit with that new theme. Um, and sort of derailed as well because obviously it did derail um, and it's placed on its side as well the actual engine but we'll put down. Yes, yeah they're all like orange um, sort of flickering like. Oh, that's all the Is that an actor's costume behind there? Or just a prop? Uh, no, that's just a mannequin prop thing from when they used to have the um, characters in the train. Yeah. So, what I was talking about earlier between the house lights and these show lights. So, you've got the house lights, which are these ones here, which are on um, during emergencies, so they can literally end up and everything. And then these are the show lights, that's like flickering orange light, so it makes it all. All nice and uh, lovely and scary. Um, with all the walls, um, these ones are all designed to be very, very loud. Um, so obviously you might have come down and the actors bang on the walls quite a lot because it makes quite a good scare rather than being over on the side of the train. So they might suddenly come across and go like that. It makes a loud, loud noise. Um, so yeah, they're all designed to do that. Um, the day that someone puts their foot through it will be surprising because that's taking quite a run that model. Oh, you actually painted the top black with this Yes, so that was painted back in 2020, um, 20, so you see the original blue and yellow um, on it, and it's faded off on the train right there. But yeah, it was painted black, and then that was blue, so that was the blue. That one there is part of the fire um, fuel system, and so that will help. As well, I've got to say, the points up there, the original ones from the Kanda Crew Railway as well, they're not like um, fake or anything, they are the real point, uh, like how they used to switch it, put it into the uh, chair. All these here as well, the original sleepers that the rails obviously used to lay on, um, they're some up uh, by the finale as well that are used as a fence now, but these are all original as well. So a lot of this maze is literally just original Candle Creek Railway, um, so it fits in so nicely with the theme. Uh, no, so the actors aren't allowed like, fully on the other side, health and safety. Um, they're allowed sort of on the train, but to be honest, they normally 
um, go over this side to get more scares, like banging the walls and sort of jumping out of the train. I'm guessing that's the softest one. Yes. Yeah, you got that there. And then originally um, back before 2020, when this was placed on its side, there used to be a fire effect that used to come out of the funnel of the train. Obviously, um, when it was placed on its side, to have the fire going out that way would be a bit dangerous. Um, so it now comes out just behind that wooden box just there. So, so that's where it comes out of. It's not as big anymore. So it's still a little big button. Yes, yeah, that's a little button that they press. Just the little green one with the white wire going to it. Um, and then it comes out where that wood is. That wood is just covering the top of the box. Um, sorry? Yes, yeah, yeah. So um, the exact same uh, fire boxes is used on Legacy this year as well. Same company and everything. Um, so yeah, that's that's where the fire comes out of this year. I think it used to hold and um, sort of like pops in the air, but it doesn't. Uh, doesn't um, so another interesting fact: these suitcases here um, are also repurposed, like the beach hut. So these used to be in the turnstile hall. I don't know if you remember. It used to be in the far right corner, um, and then yeah, they're all from the turnstile hall. Uh, I'll take it away this year um, and pop uh, put here in platform 15. No, that's um, time trigger, so I think it plays every two and a half minutes. So there's basically a puncher on the other side of this wall. When you go down, this whole wall vibrates. Basically what it is, it's like a pendulum that just goes like that, but a lot faster and a lot more vigorously. Um, and there's time on the trigger, so I think it's every two and a half minutes at the moment. And then obviously you've got more little hideouts in the old beach huts just here. Where you'd normally uh, store all your swimming gear, it's now where the actors jump out on you. So it just makes it like a lot clearer. That's the thing with platform, like it's very clear like freak freak, you're gonna get chased by a chainsaw yeah. and like they're crazy lumberjacks, but here it's a bit more story driven rather than not scare driven if that makes sense. Yeah. I'm trying to tell a story. Yeah. So this sign just here and um, where it says station one mile is a reference to how far the old station for the Thorpe Farm used to be. So it doesn't actually uh, yeah that is He's a public Absolutely. footpath there, so that's called Monk's Walk. Um, so yeah, that's a reference. It doesn't actually like seem that far, um, but when you go like go around the lake, that's a reference to like, how far the old Thorpe uh, farm station used to be. Yeah. This area as well is, um, I know it says it as well, but this is the actual signal light from the Canada Creek Railway. Um, so it's all like genuine stuff as well. So that's part of the genuine set.
this one, um, the trigger's actually broken on this box. It is meant to be a sensor. Um, uh, the sensor broke quite a while ago, so it's like constantly on now, unless it goes um, like totally power off, even like no house lights or anything. It's the most terrifying thing as well when you're walking down it by yourself. You forget that to thing, and then suddenly you hear that going around the corner. It's terrifying. But yeah, that's sort of stuck on. But that's the sound that the sleepers and the actors make. So it's sort of like a croaking, clicking sound. Um, but that's the sound of the sleepers. Um, this is still the original platform for the Camden Crew Railway um, or you've got the all original paint on there God knows how it stayed on there that long but it's all like still original um, and obviously you've got more of the suitcases so you've got like Lost City suitcase just there there's a little like easter egg to where these suitcases have actually come from um, the posters as well are replaced uh, every year because they get a bit worn um, during the off season um, but, but yeah they're all like new posters for this year uh, we can't take this it's all like shut off around the other side of the road. Um, yeah, it's like. Uh Uh, no, so that takes you, we'll go out there in a second, but it takes you literally straight out to um, like Old Town. Oh, right. Um, this is another smell, smell pod just here. So this one's overflowed a bit, but this is um, still that Victorian smell just there. And you've got the genuine old ticket office from the Camden Creek Railway as well, which is all just in there with the flickering light above it as well. Um, so obviously this is sort of your fake ending. So you have that music saying that you play at the beginning. Sort of like leads you into that full set security. Oh, hang on, my tour's done now. That wasn't too bad. Um, and then you meet your tour guide again. And they lead you off down this way. Um, the ending now used to be the old queue line. So back before 2020, used to be the old queue line used to batch into this area. Then you go on your tour down that way. Obviously, reverse this year and then go back down this way. box from the uh, old train sorry is that box from the old train uh no so that was the original um sort of part of the control system for the original effects in here oh. um but it was repurposed um back towards um the main control room um in the ticket office but yeah it was part of the original sort of systems out the out by the um yeah by the by the farm but we've got like a So we come down this way, so obviously it's all just, just wood. Um, you come down this way, um, so you've got a sensor just here. Uh, when you come around, have a look. It's basically a sensor that hits this light panel that triggers the effects down that. <coughs> You've got a nice little hideout just here. So it's 
Thank you. Pull it out from under here as well. So you've got loads of space on the ground. Obviously coming down here as well, you have these metal fences as well to make it sound a lot louder, so you're coming down there and they can move. original train yes yeah, so the whole train there um it's just facade it's all fake it's all wood um but the actual <laughs> So the whole train here is fake apart from um the little I don't know what you call it but the scoop thing. Come on. Scoop yeah like the cow scoop that's it that's <laughs> that's what it's called um it's from the original train that's why it's all painted yellow but sort of painted black as well. Um, but the train there is fake and obviously the uh, little light in there that's a strobe light and obviously you have the massive sound effect as well that is extremely loud as well um, but yeah this is your finale so you come around here and then you go up that ramp there and round to the left and then that's the exit um, that gets a lot at the moment but we'll take you down the second of the two acts corridors um, I was just saying today, guys, this is um, a, a lot of people sort of... Yeah, it's normally...